Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I thought I was going to make another video about a note taking app and that is what I'm going to do. I've been sick for the last week so there haven't been any videos out but I'm back now and hopefully I will continue posting videos going forward and not get sick again. But before we start going into this note-taking app which is called my reach i wanted to take a couple of seconds to talk about the importance of a good note-taking app especially if you are struggling with your mental health and i do post a lot of mental health stuff on my youtube shorts as well as my tiktok because i've struggled a lot with my mental health and having a note-taking app that helps you remember thing or having a productivity system that helps you remember thing that lets you journal lets you write your thought down and go back and see those thoughts it is so so important at least in my case it is one of the reasons why i am feeling so much better now and less overwhelmed all of the time and i am able to do a lot of stuff all of the time so having a good note-taking app is really really important and i think everyone should invest time and even if you can invest some money in a good note-taking app or a good productivity system with that said let's jump into my reach so my reach is a new note-taking app it was founded back in 2017 and i find it really really interesting because it has a uh, an ai which works off of your notes so you can ask it specific questions from your notes like for example what hotel has olivia recommended me it also has a map view, which I know a lot of people, including myself, likes. I have tested it out, deleted and made some notes. So I have only a few notes, but I think the design looks really, really good. And you can change the view. It also has a list view. It has a large list view. It has a board view and even a map view if that is interesting so you can use a map view to look at your notes and where you actually took your notes <laughs> i only have a few notes and both of them are in are in uh, norway where i live and uh, you might have some privacy concerns. Uh, they are a Europe-based company, which means that they are under the GDPR uh, regulations, which are really strict. I know that because I have been working with GDPR for such a long time. They have a free plan right now. I haven't found the paid plans yet. I don't think they have any paid plans yet. But with the free plan, you have... 5,000 available notes and everything inside of the app is a node. So a tag is a node, a note is a node, a website, a document and so on and so forth. And that's the main reason why I'm not using the app. It also has a five uh, gigabyte, five gigabyte monthly memory. Uh, usage no it's total memory usage the monthly is how many times you can ask rich which is the ai you can ask 2500 uh, questions or words so you get 2500 words and you also get nodes recommendations which works a lot like mem if you have used mem so it puts different notes that might go well together. It recommends you to put them together. And this is the main reason why I don't believe this app is one of the best note-taking apps yet, because it simply doesn't have enough space and it isn't possible to pay for more, more space, which uh, really annoys me. and. It is simply or it is simply trying to be uh, some sort of chat GPT as it says here uh, chat GPT for your stuff and it is similar to something like personal AI which I have done a video on and you can check out right here but 
it tries to do something like personal AI it's, is doing. And even though I believe that the app and the design overall is a lot better than something like uh, personal AI, because I like having my notes easily accessible like this, even though I have an AI I can ask. I like to have everything visual, uh, visual and visible. But on the other hand, it isn't where it's supposed to be right now. It isn't ready to be used the way I wanted it to be used. And the main reason behind that is actually the usage limit. Uh, even 5 gigabytes of storage is too little, at least in my case, because I tend to store a lot of design files, a lot of illustrator files, a lot of videos, a lot of everything, and 5 gigabytes just isn't enough. And if I, it was a possibility, I would probably pay to have a, a bigger storage if the app is good enough, which I believe it is, because the note-taking aspect of it is really good and really simple. So you you just type uh, your notes like, like you're used to. You can attach files, you can even mention things. You can do it by pressing here. You can add bullet lists, uh, you can add websites, attachments, quotes, and I believe that the overall note-taking experience is really good. It doesn't have markdown support, uh, so the only thing you can do by pressing hashtag is to relate it to something else, and when I relate it to something else, you can also go into the map view and just see that it is related. I would also like uh, the app when I am hovering over something that it would state what the note is because right now I can't see actually what the note is unless I press on it and then open it here. So if I just press on it, I will get the note here. Uh, but if I don't press something, then uh, I can't just hover, hover over and see what the note is about. I would personally like that but it isn't the biggest concern overall i think the app is really good and it has potentials i like a lot of the futures it has but it ne still needs some work before it is at a level where i can where I can use it as my daily note-taking app and as my second brain. I like the fact that it has AI because I believe that having AI is really good in a note-taking app, especially for finding your notes. I don't know if you have ever experienced it when taking notes, but I tend to lose a lot of the notes I take. So just a quick overview here. The app is really good. It has great potential, but there is still a lot of work and development that needs to be done before this can actually be your main second brain app. It also has a mobile app, which is really good. And I believe that a mobile app is really important on a note-taking app as well, because we tend to be on the go a lot. And many of my best ideas uh, comes when I'm out walking or out just going around so a note uh, taking app with a mobile app is really good and the mobile app works great as well but still I need this app to be a little more developed before I can pour my entire second brain into it and that's just simply a short overview of my reach the second brain app if you have any questions leave them down below and i can do a more in-depth video on them later thank you for watching if you haven't done so already please do subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you again quite soon